Okay, so the very next thing we have to do right now would be to connect to our site via FTP. If you don't know how to do so, I do have tutorials that will teach you and show you how to do so. Check the links in the very next video, in the very next lecture, you will find the links to where I will show you how to connect to your site via FTP, how to create an FTP account, and even how to use Notepad++, which is what I'm actually using to connect to my site. So feel free to pause this video, go and watch those ones and then come back. If you do know how to connect to your site via FTP, then let's move on. Right now I am on my starter site and the folder I am interested in right here is the WP content folder. This is the folder that typically contains the files for your plugins and themes and media associated with your WordPress website. So let's double click inside. And now you can see we have plugins, themes, upgrade. We are interested in themes, right? So let's open up the themes folder. And now you can see we have our starter theme, 2015, 2017, and 2016 folders. Whenever you install a new theme, you will find the themes folder in here as well. But right now we are interested in the starter theme folder. So let's double click inside. And now in here, we have all the files that make up our starter theme. But I want you to pay very close attention to these files right here that end in .php. We have 404.php, we have archive.php, comments.php, footer.php, and so on and so forth. All these are what we refer to as template files. So what exactly is a template file? Well, a template file is one that tells WordPress what kind of content to display and how to display that content and even where to display that content. So template files are basically like a guide for WordPress. They tell WordPress that, hey, display posts on this page, uh, display the title, display the featured image just below the title, display the date this post was published, things like that. WordPress uses these template files to display content. And each one of these template files controls a specific part of your website. As an example, 404.php right here, if I double click on 404.php, this right here is the template for displaying 404 pages, pages that are not found. This is the template file right here that WordPress would use to display content for the 404 for the 404 uh, page, a page that's not found. Likewise, we have something here called what? We have page.php. This is the template for displaying all pages. So whenever you create a new page on WordPress, the starter theme is going to use this template right here to display contents for that page. Okay, and so on and so forth. We have single.php, we have sidebar.php. All these template files control specific parts of any WordPress website. So join me in the very next class where I will begin to take a look at the core template files which you will find in any WordPress theme.